Hey guys, we're going to take a quick look at using MIDI Capture as a way to grab chords or performances that you generate while you're exploring the circle of fifths. We're not going to spend a bunch of time talking about the circle of fifths. Uh, however, you can get to it. One place to get to it is using number three over here, the chord. I'm just going to bring up the circle of fifths here. Uh, there's a huge amount of information out there. I'm not the guy to talk to about it, but one of the one way to think about it is it's a way to visualize all the notes and give you a general sense of where you'll find notes that complement each other. If they're close together, there's a chance are they're going to sound pretty good next to each other. If they're farther apart, they might not. As an example, let's say just things like that. What if I did this down to F sharp? So way out of there. So circle of fifths helps me navigate down through there. But a lot of times, guys, like some people like to play around inside the circle of fifths and just look for patterns. I'm just clicking on the notes to see them turn orange as I do. Now, the problem is if I come across a pattern I like, I have to remember it and then I need to drag it down and start to build it. The UI gives me some other suggestions and that's great if you have some particular in mind, but if you're just exploring, sometimes you want to be able to capture what you or recall what you stumbled onto, so to speak. And one thing to remember, Scalar does not capture while you're playing any timing information. So this is strictly the selections and notes. What we're going to do is we're going to use the MIDI capture feature down here. If you click on that, it'll just turn blue until you're recording MIDI. And so the trick is both using MIDI Capture and what I found is if I use a keyboard, uh, uh, my musical keyboard entry to fl basically flag and uh, put some markers inside my capture so I can go back and find it later. And I'll demonstrate what I'm talking about. Let's say I'm playing around in here. I like that one. All right, now what I do if I, well, I'm, I'm capturing, so everything I'm playing is getting captured, but I need to be able to remember what the last notes I was interested in. So what I do is, in that case, I played four notes that I liked. I like that, that sequence. And so I'm just going to come up here and one, two, three, four, hit my F key. And that's just going to record a single F note in the MIDI capture. Then I'll keep playing along. But what that tells me is that the last four notes after, last four codes after that individual note um, is something I might be interested in. So let's keep playing around. So uh, could be. kind of good and also basically what I want there is the last seven notes so what I'll do is I'll just come up here one two three four five six seven and I hit my B key all right so now that I've done that for a while I've been playing around uh, how do I use it so I'm gonna stop MIDI capture and I'm gonna use the drag feature now what I'm gonna do is click and drag outside of the scalar UI all right so I'm gonna click I'm going to drag outside the scalar UI, and then I'm just going to bring it back on. And when I do, it's going to trigger a MIDI detect. It asks me if I want to replace my current detection. In this case, I'll say yes. And now what I have are all of the notes that I was playing, or all the chords I was playing, while I had MIDI capture turned on. If I go to my first note that I see, that's my four note, or F, which is my fourth note in the scale, one, one, two, three, four, that tells me that these last four notes are the ones I thought were interesting as a pattern. So in this case, it was. All right, could be anything, but that's what it is. So how do I use that? All I need to do is I can drag, lasso it, right mouse click, and I can just add this to a new pattern. 
okay so now those notes are down here remember no timing I'll have to hopefully remember the the timing or the sequence that I played them in but at least I have the notes and I'll do the same thing I'll come along through here keep looking around and eventually I come across another note this time it's B which is one two three four five six seven so I'll just count out one two three four five six seven and right click add chords to new pattern all right so now when I go to my pad all right take this guy away and I have my notes bound same thing down here It captures each note one at a time so if your pattern that you played was had duplicate notes they're going to show up in duplicate so just play through it and you'll get the chords you were goofing around with anyway hope that's helpful and uh, see you on the next video